So we're taking a peek at Double Cross, which, if you can't tell by the name, is actually a semi-sequel to Cro Crossfire, actually. also does a, This was also designed by Dario Casali, just like that one. And even internally, when he was working on it, it was called Crossfire 2. Um, which is funny, because I've actually don't believe I've ever played this in any server, even though I actually, from what little I played, I actually quite like it. I don't know if I would consider it better than uh, Crossfire. This was launched on February 17th, 1999, which was also, for the longest time, the last day that any official map would be added to this game. Uh, there was a few others released this day, too, and none of them would end up um, appearing in any official, like, version of the game on Steam or anything like that, which is really weird. Um, I must have not turned Observer Mode on. One second. Alright, so here you have the equivalent of that square building area in the original Crossfire. Um, you can see the, like, similar ethos to it, but, you know, obviously quite different. One thing we won't be able to hear is that there's a lot more ambient noise in this map compared to the, the original Crossfire and even, uh, Double Cross, like, you know, Dario Caselli's other work, so that's a little interesting. So yeah, if you start there, get the SMG grenade, it's gonna be immediately helpful. Same with the RPG. Every weapon here is essentially gonna be immediately useful just on the basis of its design and stuff like that. Like, you know, again, it shares that same thing I liked about Crossfire where every weapon's just in a really good spot. So you got this interesting little room here. If you go in here, you see this neat little thing. This occasionally makes fire noises and fire sounds and fire itself, you know, believe it or not. Um, you got a charger here, which is good. You can actually get up here by doing this, and you actually... Not much in terms of weaponry, but you can hide up in these, like, little vent areas here, so don't, don't discount that as a possibility. You can also get from there, I think. Um, get the SMG, more of that. Get the crossbow and start sniping if you can, you know. Because, you know, that's typically what you would do with a crossbow. I don't even know why the hell I said that. Get the shotgun in this building. There's fewer buildings overall, but they're more unique. Obviously, the snark's gonna be pretty good here, along with another gauze. Use them to great effect. You can, like, you, like, throw the snarks and you can jump around. I will say, I don't think this map's as good for the gauze jump as the original Crossfire is. Yet another SMG. Because, you know, even though it looks like you can get onto these buildings from here. Every part here is solid. There's an invisible wall. So no, you can't hang up on the roofs and just rain hot death, unfortunately. So here's a little bridge here. Come over, and then you'll get to the other side. Now, if you get to this building here, you can get in. I don't think you can get in by jumping. You can! Alright, so there's a tactical thing for you. Get a snark, which can be useful for just random spamming. Yeah, another SMG. This is a, this is a very SMG-heavy map, for better or for worse. Revolver to match the um, crossbow on the other side, Good, you know, gotta have that. If you go in here, move move Coomer. Um, yet another one. I Like I said, lots of SMGs. I wasn't kidding. Here's where that other entrance is. And that's about it for the um, main sort of, like, you know, part of the, like, the, the square part. The spawn part, because it's like the crossfire where only the player spawns are here. They're not where the bunker is, which this map has. Um, so yeah, grab the, uh, Egon. Could be very useful. I'm gonna show you the river in a second, though, as we go through here. This is kind of like an interesting little intermediate room, or building, that the, the other Crossfire didn't really have. It sort of did. That one's kind of smallish building, but this one's a lot more pronounced. Grab the shotgun, grab some grenades, grab the 10th billion SMG. Grab the crossbows, and this leads you out into the main area. You can take this... Um, river though. It's not deep enough to swim in, but you can take that to get in there. And you can grab the long jump, which can be very helpful to get to the bunker in a short time. Or just really anywhere in a short time. You know, because that's how it tends to be. Got your elevators, which I'm glad he brought back from the other map. I should mention, as far as I'm aware, this one does not have any secret room of any sort of like, you know, to any degree. So that's, that's a little sad. I'm a little bit disappointed in that, but oh well. You can't have everything. So yeah, that's what this is on this side. Oh yeah, there's something I wanted to point out that I'm not the first one to point out here. If you go back this way, you get an Egon, another one, which is great, and a Charger. Always fun time guaranteed for all. And here it is, the backwards health Charger. It happens. Grab the charges, that's where that other, like, you know, like, um, elevator led to. So now you can get to the version of the, like, little courtyard here, like in Crossfire. 
These areas here on the side with like the uh, ammo crates are a little bit smaller. A little bit easier to hide though, especially on the other one, it's a little darker. As you can see here, you um, this looks a little bit different, and it's actually a little bit more tactical. Uh, gauze jumping here can be useful too, but again, overall, I'd say your gauze jump opportunities are best reserved to here. This one has a specific thing, the reactor complex. Ooh, got the same four um, health kits as that one. If you haven't watched the Crossfire video, I'm going to link it in here because this is kind of like, you know, you can kind of see, it's kind of better you watch that one first just to see where this one's coming from. Obviously, you got your gun emplacements yet again, which, you know, I can't really use because the bots just can't, can't figure it out. Just can't bring it together. But can you really blame them? No, I don't think you can. So, yeah, you got your guns, though. Fun time guaranteed for all. Uh, this is how you can get in here really fast. And something interesting, which I'll show off in a bit regarding this, or I'll just show it off now. Screw it. You can actually get back up quickly to the, um, well, if you didn't fuck that up, you can actually jump right up to here to get into the, the little gun area really quick. So it's actually better for team play this time. I would say this one works better for team play just because of that. It Like, you know, you, someone can actually, like, kind of specifically go back and forth and man it, which might make it a little bit harder to, like, you know, like, get the base back. But, you know, you know, don't worry about it too much. It's team deathmatch. Every time you die, even in team deathmatch, you go back over there. So, you know, it's a little bit easier to break through than in some other games. The shit ton of supplies again. Get these nice little areas over here with a really, really low ass like sound. Like I said, it's just Dario Casali really liked his ambient sounds, it seems, on this for like this map. So yeah, get the supplies, get the satchels, get the shotgun. There's only one shotgun, I think. I don't remember. I actually already forget. Did, was there one over here? Because on the crossfire, there's two. Yeah, there is. So yeah, it's very. It's like an alternate reality version of crossfire, essentially. And then there's this little area here with a terribly glitchy texture. I'm gonna again shock that up to a uh, new engine thing though. Where you know if you have the snipers, this could be a really good place to just snipe. You know, obviously that's what he could Solly probably intended putting the bows there, but I would use the revolver like a real man. Um Go back down here and here it is. This uh, map's uh, airstrike. I like how it's an underground thing this time, and it closes up. I would imagine you could just hang out down there. If you get stuck in there, I don't think you're coming back out anytime soon. Because I know specifically on this, this map, it's every four minutes. I'm going to assume it was probably that on Crossfire as well. But, you know, I never, I've never found out specifically, so I'm just going to assume. Again, if it were me, I would just go back and... Oh, yeah, I forgot about this little area here. I did that first time I played this, too. Here's a little place to grab the revolver and actually fight back a little bit. I like that. There's a little bit more emphasis on uh, the sort of tactical places to go and stuff like that. You know, in terms of, like, you know, places you can hold and stuff like that. A little bit of a different feeling. But, yeah, here you go. Obviously, let the good times roll by coming out over here and watching the fireworks. You know, if you're a real man, you'll activate that and come back and face your death honorably. Yeah, here it comes. It's a thing of beauty, truly. Well, and truly. Yeah, but it's funny, because genuinely, I've never... Before I, like, downloaded it for this series, I've never seen this in any, like, server rotation or anything like that. Which is odd, because, you know, it very has a lot of the same merits as uh, Crossfire itself. Um, and yet... You know, it doesn't seem like anybody ever brings this one up. I don't think I've ever seen anyone point this out even in the comments. And if you did, I'm sorry if I forgot. But, you know, that's that's strange. Oh, I should probably set a frag limit. But then again, that also asks the question of why Valve just never brought this into the... Like, you know, their mandatory kind of like like the, the maps that come with the, the version on Steam. I, I don't know if these ever showed up on WAN. Like, you know, in the WAN version of the game. They used to get when Sierra was publishing it, but I'm pretty sure that didn't even get showed up there, so I, I don't know why they did this. Like, it was in further data as well. Every um, map that I'm showing for this that was official but not in the like the version on Steam is in further data. And again, that it's not like you had to pay for that either. That was a free thing you can, like, you know, get in stores and stuff like that as far as I'm aware. So I don't know what the hell the idea was here. I mean, they both have an like a rocket launcher immediately available in both of them. 
But I think the one in Crossfire was placed better right in the center because you'd have people just running to go get it and like putting life and limb to get that thing ASAP. Where it's on this side here, you can kind of grab it and retreat. It's not, it doesn't have the same feeling of danger. But I would imagine with 32 people going around, it's a little bit harder to escape like this. Who knows? Yeah, see, this thing is just really deadly here. I mean, typically rocket launchers are deadly. It's a weapon. It's really effective against living things, you know? But, you know, it's just, it's a thought. Also, there's only one um, long jump here, and I don't like that it's placed right here. Whereas in Crossfire, I believe there's two, and they're a little bit easier to, like, you know, they're in their own little hidden area, so they're a little bit harder to grab.